scientists can now tell the difference between natural earthquakes and man-made earthquakes. This is by John Kennell, Science Explorer. Earthquakes triggered by fracking increase in magnitude over time. If you don't believe hydraulic fracking, also known as fracking, hydraulic fracturing causes earthquakes, well, people can dare you to tell that to the residents of Oklahoma, Texas, Ohio, even British Columbia and Canada, where fracking-related earthquakes have been rising dramatically. Fracking is a process of injecting fluid at a high pressure into the rocks to force open existing cracks and extract more oil and gas that way. To end the debate of whether fracking does or does not cause earthquakes, researchers from Stanford University have developed a technique that can help scientists distinguish between natural and man-made earthquakes. It turns out that earthquakes triggered by human activity follow indicative patterns. Assistant Professor of Geophysics Jenny Suckle at Stanford's Earth School of uh, Earth Energy and Environmental Sciences, as well as postdoctorate researcher David Dempsey, analyzed a sequence of earthquakes near the town of Guy, Arkansas. These were from 2010-2011. Scientists suspected that the Arkansas earthquakes were triggered by the injection of approximately 94 and a half million gallons of fracking wastewater into the nearby wells, which then made its way into the basement layer during a nine-month period. The term basement refers to the rock located beneath a sedimentary rock cover that may contain oil and gas reserves. This addition of water in the basement layer adds more stress to already stressed faults until one eventually slips and releases seismic waves resulting in an earthquake. Alarmingly, one of the study's main conclusions is that the likelihood of large magnitude man-made or induced earthquakes increases over time. A model simulation performed by Suckle and Dempsey found a linear relationship between frequency and magnitude of induced earthquakes with magnitudes increasing the longer wastewater is pumped, of course, into the well. Quote, it's an indication that even if the number of earthquakes you experience each month is not changing, as you go further along in time, you should expect to see larger magnitude events, end quote, said Dempsey. Now, the trend does not continue indefinitely. The study showed that the magnitude of man-made quakes begin to fall after reaching some maximum intensity, but how large is that limit? Sokol said, does it taper off at magnitude 3 or a more dangerous magnitude 6.5? That's the question. Previous studies found that the rate of wastewater injected was more important for triggering earthquakes rather than the total volume. However, the Stanford study found that given similar injection rates, there was a direct relationship between volume and the occurrence of earthquakes. For example, of the two wells studied near Guy, well one received four times the wastewater as well five and triggered four times as many earthquakes. The results could have significant impacts on the oil and gas natural, natural gas industry as well as for government regulations. Currently, if a high magnitude earthquake occurs, fracking activities shut down. But according to Sokol, all a better approach might be to limit production before a large quake occurs. I think we can all agree about that. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.